saw a great film the other day, Boiler Room. And while the movie itself was good, it was Ben Affleck's rant to the new recruits that caught my attention. He says, there's an important phrase that we use here and think it's time you all learnt it. Act as if. You understand what that means? Act as if you're the effing president of this firm. Okay? Act as if. I have censored some parts, but you get the drift. What a lovely reminder. Act as if. And whether you're hearing it for the first time or are in need of a reminder, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on. So what does act as if really mean? It simply is that if you want something, you must act like you already have it in your life. See, you always get what you expect in life. I will repeat this again. You always get what you expect in life. Think about it. Let it sink in. The job that you hate? Every day you go to work filled with bitterness and dislike. And did you get it? Of course you did. You lack the money you want in life. The success you want. More often than not, you are saying things like, If only I had. Why me? I can't. I will settle for. And then you make your dreams smaller. Aim for mediocrity. And guess what? That's exactly what you get. See what I mean? Now this concept of act as if is not new. We have all done it when we were children. Remember all those make-believe games where you wore a plastic crown and was the king of your own backyard? Remember when you wore a cape and pretended to be superwoman? Was there anything you couldn't be, do or have? Yet as we grow up, we forget all this. Wayne Dyer wrote a lovely book. You will see it when you believe it. But so many of us live with the silent mantra I will believe it when I see it. And we hold ourselves back and limit what's possible because we no longer trust the power of our imagination and our intention. Well, how's that working for you? So let's change that. Humor me. Let's take the first step. And the first step is simple. Focus. And act as if. That's it. Whatever you want to be, act as if you are already that person. If you want to be a successful business owner, act as if you already are. Walk like her, talk like her, go to the seminars and programs that successful people hang out at, read, learn to network. If you want to have a successful talk show and you're fretting about where to start, this is the first step. Act as if. Imagine how you would walk, talk and behave if you're the Oprah of your genre. Imagine the excitement. Taste the success. See yourself winning the Emmys. You want to be a best-selling writer? Act as if. How would you talk? How would you walk? Where would you be signing books? Which talks have you been invited to? See it. Hear it. Feel it. All I am doing is asking you to be a child again and use your imagination. Martin Luther King put it beautifully. Faith is taking the first step even when you do not see the whole staircase. Like I tell my clients, take the invisible first step and the next step will appear. It's that simple. So here's a tool to help you take the first step. That's right, time for Sheila's toolbox. Now this one will require about 10 minutes of your time. I call it my owning my dream process. So here's what you got to do. Pick up one thing that you want to be, do or have, whatever it is. To have great health, direct a blockbuster film, be a successful coach, find your soulmate or even own a luxury car, dream house, whatever. Now live that out in your mind. How do you see yourself? What do you say? What do you hear? How do you feel? Who do you hang out with? What's your schedule? Go out and behave exactly like how you saw it. Make believe. Act as if. React to situations as if you are already what you want to be. Would a guy with a great career complain about his job when it comes up in conversation? No. He would share the great things about his job. Even if it's not that great, you focus on the good parts and talk about that. 
and you act as if you already have a great career. Would a person with lots of money say, I can't afford it? No, you will say, I'd love to get it. Would a person in a great relationship feel jealous when he sees other people having great, fun, romantic times with their partner? No, you will smile and say, bless you, because you have it too. Initially, it may seem weird and unnatural, but fake it till you make it. Works every time. Do this and let me know. Drop your disbelief for a few days and see what happens. Feel free to leave your comments, queries, challenges. I will do my best to get back to each of you. And if you like this video, tag your friends and share it. This process is great when you do it with friends. Remember, when the tide rises, all boats rise. And press the subscribe button for more such life hacks every week in your inbox.